What we did was analyze the complete publication history of the top 100 education research journals based on their five-year impact factor. And of these nearly 165,000 articles, we found that only 221, or 0.13%, were explicitly identified as replicating previously established research. What we found was that the majority of these replications found results that were similar to the original studies. However, if there was no authorship overlap between the original study and the replicating study, they were actually less likely to be successful at replicating the original res research results. And so there's something about having authorship overlap that helped the replicating research get similar results to the original study. And as a reference point, this replication rate of 0.13% in education, uh, the replication rate in psychology is about eight times higher than in education research. When we teach science in school, we have students do the scientific process. They conduct the experiment or they dissect the frog. It's the process that we care about in science. But in the current education research process, we seem to be focusing a lot on novelty and what's new and less on actually following the scientific process of things. Replication is a cornerstone of science and based on our results, that cornerstone is missing from modern education research. We generally aren't looking at whether or not the results that are reported in our education research um, replicate to other settings or can be replicated by independent research teams. In the education world, I think we constantly struggle to get policymakers to pay attention to our research findings and to use those findings to create evidence-based policy. And because that's such a struggle in the first place, when, once we do get policymaker attention, we really want to be confident in what we're telling them is actually accurate. Because schools vary so much, students vary so much, teachers vary so much, how much funding all of those things are getting will vary so much. We don't necessarily know if the findings that are relevant for that particular school are going to extend to a, a school across town and given how much policy varies across states, what may be true in North Carolina may not necessarily be as true in California. If we want to know if an education intervention works or if, if what a teacher is doing in the classroom is effective or isn't effective, then replication is a key ingredient to the research. We don't want to rely on just one individual study because there's error and there's mistakes that are just a natural part of the social science process. We want to make sure that the results we find in one study could also be find, found in another study or in different educational contexts.